Hello and welcome to RC Legends. In today's video we're going to be having a look at a new arrival. And the new arrival is this. A 1988 Varicom Panda Monium two-wheel drive buggy. And it is such a cool thing. In this video we'll obviously be having a look at this car. Um, but I also at the beginning of this video I want to tell you how I've got hold of this car. Because it's got a fantastic little story to it. So, as I said, from 1988, from the manufacturer of Vericom. Now, this car did have a couple of different, um, I don't know if you want to say manufacturers, but it had a, if the same car was sold by other companies and it had different names. But this is a Panda, and it's, the, sorry, it's a Panda Monium. Um, and it's a very cool thing. So, the story goes, now a massive shout out to my good friend, Andy Robinson. Um, I'll put a link to his fantastic channel in um, the about section of this video, it's Andy Robinson RC. Anyway, a long time ago, this was actually his car and it was on his channel, so I was just watching his video like I do. And there was something about this car that I was like, I really like that and I kind of want that in my museum. So um, yeah, he did his first video on it and then he took it out for a spin. Um, it, it had all the original original electrics in it, so I had a mechanical speed control and a really slow front servo. Um, anyway, I saw it running and I was like, I've got to have that. So I messaged him on that video and I said, Andy, if you're going to move that on at any point, let me know. Um, but by the time I'd done that, he'd actually sold it on and I was pretty gutted. Um, anyway, he, did, he then did a second video, which was super cool. And he put, he, well, he, first of all, he put a full bearing kit in it. Taken the old electrics out, he put a faster servo in the front, Hobbywing 1060 speedo, he put a new 540 or a newer 540 motor in there. And he took it down to um, a little uh, grass track that he done. Well, it's not a track, just a, a, a grass park. Set up a little track and he put this up against a grasshopper two around. It was either like three or five laps around. And believe it or not, this was a better car than the grasshopper two. Um, so yeah, I'll put all the links to Andy's channel and those particular two videos in the um, video description. Um, so you can go have a look, because check his channel out, it's absolutely awesome and he's a lovely guy. Right, so basically I'd forgotten about this car by then. And uh, a, a lovely gentleman called Chris in the UK messaged me and he said, I saw your comment on Andy's channel, I've actually bought that car off eBay from Andy. And I was like, oh, that's brilliant. Anyway, Chris offered to pay the shipping to send this car to me, I make a video on it, um, or videos, and then he was also gonna pay for, sh for me to ship it back to him, which was mega generous of him, but I said no at the time, because the worst thing that can happen is if this got lost in the, in, in the post, you know, I'd feel, I'd feel really bad. So I thanked him and I said, no, let's not do that. Anyway, a couple of months pass, Chris messaged me again, and he says, send me your address, uh, I've got something for you, I want to donate to the channel. So I was like, wow, what is it? I was too curious, and uh, obviously it was this. And he's donated it completely free of charge, including shipping to me, which is just, oh, it's just mega appreciated, and massively generous of you, Chris. Hope you're watching. Um, it's also, we'll bring a camera over soon, but it's also got a manual, it's got all the original electrics with it, it's a few spares. Um, yeah, just a very, very cool thing. Now, for me, it, and maybe what you're thinking right now is, it, it does look a little bit hobby grade, toy grade, I do apologise. Um, but it's actually not, oops, it's, um, it's complete hobby grade. Um, it's just awesome, double wishbone suspension, it's got these very unique tyres. Obviously now, as I said, Andy has put a full bearing set in it and modern day electrics. Um, so yeah, let's bring a camera over and then we'll go have a really good look at this thing because I like it. And then after I've done that, I'll come back and I'll tell you what my plans are for this thing. So, as I said, 1988, it's got some serious vintage age to it, which is awesome. Um, and it's Varicom Panda Monium. Um, I think initially, you'll, you'll probably agree with me, it's, it's very toy grade looking, but it's not, it's a full blown hobby grade RC car. What was it aimed for? What sort of market? For me, it was aimed towards to compete with the grasshoppers and the hornets of this world. 
Um, and as you you may or may not see in Andy's video if you watch it, um, it's actually a better car. Um, it handles better. Even though it's got um, front and back friction shocks on there, it doesn't bounce around. Um, for me, when it's funny, I, I don't know if I said this in the video already, I've had this on display for probably the last, I don't know, five, six weeks. And what I what I've done is I think it's it's the angle of it's not right for me. So when I've got it on display, I actually have taken this roll cage off. Now this secures the body on, so it's only for sure. So I take that off, and I've also I also take the rear springs out, so the car itself sits down like that. Now sorry for but my big numb hands in the way, but I, I just think it looks really cool at that angle. Obviously, you can't run it like that, but um, I kind of wish that's how the car would have come instead of that really sort of jacked up um, rear end. So, front end, we've got wishbone, double wishbone suspension. As you can see, so still a lot of bump steer there, but um, it kind of, to me, it does feel better than a grasshopper, I've got to be honest. I really like the front tyres on it, they're quite unique. I've not sort of seen that tread before. Now, the rear end. Um, I'm guessing you can see the similarities between the or the grasshopper gearbox. Um, shocks wise, obviously, friction, as I said, there's a lot of travel on there. But as we get into the car, you'll see it's got like a, a the, the gearbox has got like a bowl um, that attaches onto the chassis, so it gives you a lot more angle. It's quite a cool design. So the body shell, obviously, it's completely hard body. Um, I should have said earlier, Andy actually painted the black on the on there, and he also put the like a Tamiya driver figure in there, the head, which makes it look a way better. Um, so, body wise, after I finished it with it, and what I mean by that is running it, I'm really debating. MCI do reproduction decals for this car, and obviously when this was built, um, the car the body wasn't painted it, sh it should be kind of a brilliant white color in ts paint so i'm i am debate the problem is obviously this is all original the reproduction decals won't quite be as good for an example of that is this like a uh, metal finish decal the reproduction ones just will look sort of silver it won't have that metal finish to it but that would allow me to clean this body up sand the little areas down blast it over in brilliant white and then put the decals on it Put some detail on the spotlights um maybe do some other stuff i don't know but um yeah i'm debating whether to do that or not that's what it looks like bolts down with three screws onto the shell and it's quite a fiddly process that as well and then onto the chassis so bathtub is ridiculous <laughs> ridiculously high rear um shock mounts um yeah plenty of suspension travel on that no adjustment, obviously. Um, so, as I say, Andy has put a full bearing kit in this, which is awesome. Um, he's put a new servo in there, and he's put the Hobbywing 1060 Speedo in there, and uh, a 540 silver can motor with a black end bell. Um, yeah. What do you think, guys? Stick in the comments what you think. It's uh, quite a, it's, it's a different style, isn't it? It's... it's it looks familiar, but it's, it's got a lot of differences. So obviously we've got the fixed axle gearbox with a differential. Um, now, obviously we've got suspension travel up and down, but as I was saying, we've got this ball unit here, which is kind of cool, um, which allows the gearbox, let's see if I can do this, to do that. So there's a lot of different angle on there. The battery goes in from underneath, down here. Look at the condition this thing's in. It's awesome. So, battery box here. These push along, and then there's a little clip just to get your nail under, and the battery box opens, and your battery wire through there. So, it's, it's quite a compact unit as well, which I like. Let's see if I can get that back in. Awesome. Doing this around the camera, which is never good. Clip, clip, clip. So yeah, as you can see, it's in absolutely tip-top condition. Um, so all I have to do to run that is put my own receiver in there, um, zero of a servo or whatever, and um, that's good to run. Um, obviously, I don't want to kill the rear tyres with them being very unique. Um, 
but yeah, if, maybe if take it out on a damp day or whatever, and we can skid it round. I, I'm really excited after seeing Andy run it. I've got to be. I, I am honestly excited to run this thing. So I was also lucky enough for Chris to send me the the spares with it. So we've got all the original electrics which Andy took out. So as I said, it came with this mechanical speed controller. Look at that thing. Free step. Well, I think it's free step. It may well be variable. I don't know. With the um, ceramic resistor on there, and then we've got obviously a servo to run that, and then a steering servo, and then a, a big what make is that? Arm. Oh god, I've never seen that manufacturer before. Same as the servos. Aristocraft, high tech aristocrat maybe. Anyway, um, and there's also this to, like a, a motor cover to put on it. Um, that's probably a good idea to put on because the motor wires on the standard 540 are very close to the rear wheel. So as I say, once I've run it and I'm finished with it, then I'll be taking these electrics out and putting these back in for sure and we'll, we'll set it up how it should have been when you bought it. I should also say, um, the Panda, or the Varicom variant of this, the, the kit, they did a, a ready to run kit, which I'll show you a picture of. Um, as, as it says, ready to run. So that came with all the radio gear, with transmitter and a battery and a charger. But this particular kit we've got here was the kit version, which you built yourself. Now, it did come with these plastic covers for the wheels that just pop on. I won't, I won't push them right on because I want to take them off. But that was kind of how it was supposed to look. But I don't know, for me, that, me personally, that does make it look a little bit toy grade, as opposed to when you can actually see the wheel nuts, if that makes sense. So I, I, I personally will um, leave those off. And as I said, really lucky we've got the full manual with it as well, which is cool. Picture of a car at the back, and then you can see 1988 there he come. Um, and it's American car, came from California. Um, let's have a little look. Let's just put this down a little bit. See what it is. So as I said, this was not the ready to run version, but uh, this was a full kit to build. Panda actually did their own marked up batteries. Um, 7.2 NICAD. And they also did their own speed controller. Now obviously it's probably just bad rebadged one. But um, getting hold of... Um, the actual Panda uh, electronic speed controller that would be kind of cool I might see or if there's any of you watching who has one you'd like to uh, sell me that would be awesome so yeah the build instructions look really good to be honest very clear uh, I'll just fly through them quickly and then as I say we get on to the, the body side of it stick in the comments do you think I should take the decals off and, and paint it I think it looked kind of cool. Um, then in this section, a little bit like Tammy used to do in the guidebooks, telling you do's and don'ts. Don't run it in water, long grass, don't smash it into a brick wall. Not that we would do that, but... Um, and then we've got a little bit of a an upgrade page where it's telling you full bearing kit. Um, they did, well, I, but yeah, they did oil shocks because their part numbers are down there. That'd be kind of cool. Adjustable turnbuckle for the front end. Um, yeah, very cool indeed. So what's at the end? And then we've just got all the parts. And then at the very back page, we've got some other cars that Panda did. So we've got like a, a NASCAR one, which was called, what's that, Good Wrench Stocker. And then we have something that resembles the, the Midnight Pumpkin. And that was called a Cherry Bomb, cherry bomb Step Side. And then a stock car thing, which was a Gambler Sprint car. And then this buggy, which I thought was the same, but it's not. It's, it's, it's quite a bit different, actually. And that's called the Cyclone Off-Road off Racer. Anyone watching this got one of these? That'd be kind of cool. And then again, there's a picture of that electronic speed controller we did from Varicom with Panda on it. Got part number, so I might, when I'm when I'm bored, I might do some eBay searches and see if I can find some oil shocks and uh, that speedo. I think that would be kind of cool, to be honest. So yeah, that's pretty much everything. As I say, I will be doing another video and we'll, we'll get the electrics working and we'll get it out for a run because 
as I've stated, I am going to run everything on this channel. There's going to be no... I was going to say there's going to be no shelf queens. There's going to be shelf queens, but they're all going to run before they go on the shelf, if that makes sense. So the next thing for this is for me to run it. Now, unfortunately, my plan was, as soon as I'd made this video, stick a receiver in it, get it set up and get it outside. But we've just had another blanket of snow. Oh, I've had enough of winter over here. Really done with winter. Anyway, not much longer to go and then spring's here and I can do a lot more running videos. So I'm just going to have to wait a couple of days and then we'll get this out and I'll make a running video with it. Probably going to go with the um, something like a sports tune motor just to give it a little bit more on 2S and uh, we'll try to get some footage of it slipping around, hopefully. Um, but as I say, if you want to see it running, jump onto Andy's channel now and you'll see plenty of videos of it. Um, and then once it's run, then it's going to be retired to the, um, to the glass cabinets. But it is going to look very different. I'm, I'm debating whether, as I said earlier, whether I'm going to strip all the original decals off it and spray the body white and then put some reproduction decals on just to liven that shell up and make it look how it was supposed to. Put some detail on the spotlights, paint-wise. Um, but when it's in the, sh when it's in the cabinet, um, it won't have the roll bar on there. And I'll actually take the rear springs off of it. So to drop that back end because um, the car sits kind of at that angle now if I drop the springs it straightens the car up and I just think it looks miles better on display that's just my personal take on it but um, I'll show you all that in the next video um, this this video was really just sort of letting you see this thing so please stick in the comments what you think um, I love it have you ever have you ever had one and obviously how did it run um, as you know from the manual you know you could upgrade with oil shocks and things like that bearings they make a huge difference but yeah i just i just love it it's something very different and for me it completely goes with what i'm wanting to do on this channel and the different kind of cars i want to get on this channel so uh yeah anyway i'll end this video here so once again thanks so much for watching it really is massively appreciated um as you know this is a brand new channel so if you could give this video a like maybe comment Obviously subscribe, watch a full video, I'm asking a lot, uh, and make sure all, all your notifications are turned on, that would be absolutely fantastic. So, as always my friends, thanks for watching and have a smashing day.